Have you ever been on social media and thought to yourself, maybe I should just quit my job, travel the world, sell everything I own and become a digital nomad? If that's you or if you've even entertained that option by any means, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I am breaking down how you can quit your job in 2023 and become a digital nomad and if I recommend doing it or not. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the other side. First things first, when I was living in New York City, I lived in a three bedroom, three bathroom bathroom apartment with two other roommates. And although it had its perks, there was a lack of nature. So for example, now in Changu, Bali, I live in the middle of a rice field and it is so beautiful. We hear lots of sounds of different animals, although sometimes there can be lots of bugs like spiders. Bruh. It really is so beautiful to be so connected deeply to nature. And honestly, I never feel alone here. There's so many animals, there's so many local people. Like we have lots of construction workers nearby our villa. Living in New York City, I could be in my apartment for days without leaving because everything was so convenient. I can get food delivered, Amazon can deliver basically anything to my door within 24 hours. I work from home, so I never actually had to leave my desk. So I was missing and craving that connection with other people, with nature, with animals. So the first reason why I think you should quit your job and move to Bali is because you will really see how much more there is out there besides working behind a desk and your computer for 40 hours a week building someone else's dream. The next reason why I think you should move to Bali is because there's a low cost of living. So moving from New York City to Bali, we both, my partner and I, have been able to save a lot of money. When we were living in New York City, we were spending about $5,000 a month each on our living expenses plus right going out to eat and enjoying everything that New York City has to offer and then we were traveling once a month on top of that our lifestyles became really expensive really fast and we realized that we weren't even in love with it so we were spending all of this money to maintain a lifestyle in New York City but we felt like there was a lot of danger there was a lot of hustle and bustle there was a lack of nature so it just was no longer in alignment with us I want to be able to walk outside I want to be able to put Put my feet in the grass i want to have sunshine i did not get a lot of that in new york city and i'm so much happier here with so much serotonin vitamin d like just sunlight happiness warm weather and these are all things i didn't think would affect me until i actually left new york city and i realized how it was inhibiting my growth so if you're an aspiring entrepreneur or you're an aspiring digital nomad or maybe you have your own business and you're exploring the digital nomad route, I want you to just take a look at how much it would actually cost you to make the move and live in a country like Bali or these other digital nomad hotspots and compare and contrast really what it would cost and what it would look like to live here. I have a whole other video where I break down all of my expenses in Bali. So if you wanna check that out, you could check it out up here but ultimately it is way cheaper to live in Bali and a much better quality of life if you ask me. So at this point in time, you're probably wondering how are you even able to do this? Maybe you're feeling at this point in the video that you want to live this kind of lifestyle but you can't imagine a kind of business or a career or an opportunity that would allow you to live somewhere like Bali. So I want you to think about what are your deep down desires? So for me, my deep down desire was freedom and flexibility and the way I was able to achieve that level of freedom and flexibility was through starting my own online business. When I was thinking of different business ideas, I was like, maybe I can open a fashion boutique in my hometown, or maybe I could open a restaurant, right? These are typical entrepreneurial ideas, although that would cost a lot of capital upfront versus starting something like your personal brand, it costs you zero dollars and you have ability to scale it beyond measure. And the reason why I'm so passionate about helping people start, grow and monetize their personal brand is because there's a low barrier to entry, meaning anyone can do it. You have the freedom to make a YouTube video right now or make a reel on Instagram. And I also believe that every single person, especially you watching this, has some sort of life experience that you can turn into an offer. Maybe you can turn that into a course or a coaching program or a digital product. Everybody watching this video has gone through some level of transformation in their life that you can now package up that transformation and turn it into an offer, similarly to how I've been able to. And lastly, grow a community of people who know, like, and trust you. Yeah, it's gonna take work. Yeah, it's gonna take time. And it even reminds me of starting up this YouTube channel. I've been focusing on short form content for years and tapping into longer form content is honestly pretty mundane. And 
I know I have to be consistent with it to get anywhere that I want to be with this channel but ultimately it's worth it because growing my YouTube channel growing my Instagram growing my online coaching business selling courses and helping women achieve lives of freedom is the most fulfilling path for me because I can accomplish my goals simultaneously while helping people achieve their goals and the reason why I love online business so much is because you can scale it in a way that not many other businesses can scale. For example, my dad owns a mom and pop shop. He owns a bakery in Long Island, which is where I'm from. And we were talking about how to scale businesses. And we talked about how media, for example, there's really not much cost or risk associated with it versus having a physical location retail business. It's much harder because there's only so much that you can do and you need to just hire more and more people People to be able to fulfill and serve more clients versus having something that is scalable like an online course or an online coaching program there's just so much more opportunity and that's why I'm so passionate about helping people achieve their goals in the digital realm so at this point in time I hope I persuaded you enough to get started on thinking about maybe moving to some sort of location around the world that is outside of your hometown and starting up your own online business so if you want to know my hot takes on if I recommend Bali or not not as the specific location you hope to travel to, make sure you watch this video next because I'm gonna be breaking down everything that you need to know.